Hello friends, this is Akash Lampode from Skytech and today I am going to review the Micromax A35 Bolt. So this is the latest smartphone in the Bolt series. So let me just give you a physical overview. So at the back here we have the 2 megapixel shooter which is a fixed focus camera and a rubberized back finish with a dotted texture which is really good and not at all fingerprint friendly. And at the front here we have a 4 inch capacity touchscreen with a 480 by 800 pixels resolution. And on the top here we have a micro SD slot with a power key along here and a silver kind of bezel. And on the bottom there is nothing but here you can see here is a mic and on the right left side here we have volume rockers. So that's all about it and here's the speaker grill for calling and here's the main speaker. So that's about the physical overview. And here you can see the lock screen is ICS style. So you can directly go into the dialer and you can directly unlock it. But the device is running Android 2.3.5. So here it is micro model number Micromax A35, Android version 2.3.5 and the base brand version, the kernel version, software version etc. So at the time when we just first boot it, you will get around 72 MB, 72 MB for apps which is free. And now I have installed the Nina Mark Quadrant Standard for doing benchmarks. And on the first boot, you have around 90 to 100 MBM of RAM free. When you total this, both the sums, you will get around 210 MB of RAM. And this is a new S3, Galaxy S3 style launcher by Micromax. And here you get some apps preloaded, such as the phone, the camera, the sound recorder, the music. And ES File Explorer is also being included. The black number list is also being included. The user profiles, the wireless LAN setting. And here we have a new app called Flash Transfer. So this is the USB of it. And Micromax Live is being included. And all that stuff. The launcher looks really good. And when you just get back to the home screen and press the back key, you will get this kind of a uh, home screen adding settings. So you can directly add in home screen. And just swiping it is really good. You can see the transitions. And let me just give you the full system info. So here we have system information. So here's the Android version 2.3.5, the model number A35. The CPU is clocked at 1 gigahertz and single core. And here we have a 480 by 800 pixel resolution, which is 480 by 800. And the GPU is Mali 300. And it has magnetic field sensor, accelerometer, orientation sensor, light sensor, proximity sensor, etc. But there is a thing to show you. If you just go into the display, and here in the brightness, there is no auto brightness option. So quadrant standard is being showing some wrong specifications. And here's the notification panel. Here you do have the quick toggles. You can directly turn on the airplane mode, the data syncing, and the Bluetooth, etc. And you can directly go into the dialer from here. Let me show you. So that the dialer is also been changed. It's now white in color. And there is no video call option. Still you have a video calling camera over here. And the music quality is also nice. The speaker is loud to hear. But you can see. Let me the volume. You can see the speaker is loud and adequate. You can hear it now clearly. The camera is not that good. I will not talk about it that much, but just to show you the interface. You can see it's a two megapixel shooter with fixed focus. The output is not that great, but still it gets your job done. And let's just try a multi-touch test. It's just about two two touch, not more than that. You can see it is a two point multi-touch touch screen. And here we have a Nina Mark. I have already ran the Nina Mark just to save the time. So here is the score. If it scores about 15.9 FPS, and the model number is Micromax A15. The display is 480. 
by 800 pixel resolution and the GPU is again Mali 300 so that's about the Minamax course and we will quickly run the corner standard benchmarks so here we are going to run the full benchmark test and let's just see what the score is so here's the corner standard score and it has scored around 1089 which is disappointing for the 1 gigahertz processor and here's the total score you can see a CPU scores about 1561 the memory the IO and the 2D and 3D performance so the corner standard score hasn't imp impressed me that much but still you have a decent performance for this phone and the thing I have to say is the dialer you cannot perform a video call directly from a dialer and I, I have also have to say that I have when we first started the phone the internal storage was around 82 MB the first time I said that it's around 72 I have to correct it it's around 82 MB and if you have bought this phone already and searching for a routing method there is a full guide for it you can directly go to the www.skytech101.blogspot.com there is a full guide for routing this phone and here the flash transfer app I have just set it up and let me show you just just the interface and currently I don't have that much apps and games in my phone you can directly swipe and share the photos but not swipe and share the apps and games uh, this this application shared files through Wi-Fi and it uh, turn on the Wi-Fi hotspot for sharing the files so you can directly share your files to Wi-Fi the speed is really blazing fast I have transferred 2 MB file in just a second so that a notable noticeable thing now just press back and to exit I will try to port this app to all Android devices so stay tuned up for that and if you aren't subscribed to my YouTube channel just subscribe to it and I will also port this launcher to other Android devices and give a link for downloading and the thing also I have to share share is the you can see the transitions of the launcher is really cool you can see that if I just have to set this widget on any other page you get this cooler animation which is really good and I just want to share it here just leave it there so it is now been set I haven't added my account yet so that's how the the launcher looks and you can just turn on the auto rotation I will try to test uh, browsing quality so here I have loaded my blog and the loading was slow bit because my internet connection is slow and let's just try pinch to zoom and here in the portrait mode you can see that pinch to zoom is laggy means choppy it's not that great but the text look really crisp and I have no complaint about the display talking about the display the viewing angles are decent enough you can see the viewing angles are decent enough but from the upper side it's not that impressive so and the orientation switch is is also a bit laggy there is there is a minor lag you can see that my blog is a big heavy website so that might be the problem but the switch is laggy at some times and if you want to install the Aisha app on this phone just head over to my blog and there is a guide for it you can see that how to install Aisha yeah install Aisha by Micromax so you can also install the Aisha app uh, on this and the tap to zoom also works pretty well there is not an issue let's just try the orientation switch again and here it is the tap to zoom it works, works good but you can see a minor lag there it's not that smooth so that's how the browsing was and let's just show you the messaging app so here's the messages so in the messaging app the android keyboard is the stock android keyboard the messaging app is a bit different with a new UI here you can see the messaging app and the keyboard is stock android you can directly type and give a voice command you can directly type it by voice so I have installed the game called Subway Surfer 
so let's start it I have also tried to the game before but it just threw me out of the screen and yeah, I've tried it two to three times but still no success in it it taking a lot of time to start and it will just throw me out of the screen yeah you can see the loading was the loading was going on and just it just threw me out of the screen so you can't enjoy games like Temple Run, Subway Surf and other stuff like that you just have to be satisfied with the normal games and apps and let's just show you the live wallpapers which comes preloaded here in the wallpapers Micromax have given the basic set of wallpapers which you found on the other phones so that's about the wallpapers and let's just see the live wallpapers so live wallpapers are also the stock there is no, no not many live wallpapers you can see so that's how the phone looks and the initial impression was so if you aren't subscribed to my youtube channel do subscribe to it and if you want any help and query just comment in the comment section below and i will just reply you and thanks for watching this video don't forget to like the like this video like my page on facebook and don't forget to visit my blog www.skytech101.blogspot.com thanks for watching